Hey, what's up everybody? My last video, I showed you a one-line Python expression you could use in the field calculator to extract a piece of text. This video builds on that video, so if you haven't seen it, hit that little doohickey up there, go watch that one, and then follow the link at the end of that video to this one. In this expression right here, the split method returns a list containing multiple string or text objects. Now I'm going to show you how to get that list back into a single string of text using the join method. The split and join methods are a great team. You can use the split method to break a string of text up into its components, do something to one of those components or more, and then use the join method to bring them back together. Let's go back to my parcel number example. Remember it's going to be the format of the subdivision abbreviation, phase number, and then the lot number. I'm going to show you an example of the join method in the Python window. And to get to the Python window, we come here to the Analysis tab. In the Geoprocessing group, I click this drop-down arrow by Python and choose Python window. To make practicing my expression easier, I'm going to use variables to store my parcel number here and my list from the split command. Here's how the join method works. I start with my separator from the split command in single quotes. This is what's going to go between each item of the list. Then dot join. And lastly, my list variable is going to go into the parentheses. And this is what gets returned. I can put any text at the beginning of that join statement. Let's imagine I mistyped the phase number and I need to change it to something else, let's say 3b instead of 3. I'm going to be using the field calculator again, but this time I'm going to be calculating the name field, so I'll right-click that field and choose Calculate Field. In this situation, I'm going to be using a multi-line function, so I'll be showing you how to use this code block. I'll start by defining a custom function in the code block by using the def keyword, that's short for define, the name of the function, and my argument or parameter in parentheses. I can actually use a variable here to store the contents of the name field that I'll call parcelNum. Then end this line with a colon. This colon tells Python there are multiple lines in a block of statements to follow. The body of the function will start by splitting the parcel number using the split method and the dash separator. In this line I'm changing the second item at index 1. Now remember, lists are zero-based, so that's the second item. I'm changing that to 3b using an assignment statement. That line replaces what is in the second position of my list with the text after the equal sign. Here I'm going to show the same statement in the Python window so you can see the output. This next line uses the join statement to combine the now changed list items using my dash separator and stores it in new parcel num. The last line uses the return statement to signal that the function is done and returns the now changed parcel number as the output. Now in the single line entry box we'll call our function using the contents of the name field as our parameter. We do that by using the name of the function, and then inside the parentheses, we'll put the contents of the name field by double-clicking name up here in the fields box. So let's run this and see if it works. So there you go. That's how you can use the split and join methods together. Now I know there's other ways that you can do that and maybe easier ways, but I wasn't showing you those ways. I was showing you how to use join and split together. And as a bonus, you learned how to use that code block in the calculate field tool. If you're liking these Python videos, let me know by giving that like button a chop down there for me. And hit that subscribe button while you're right there. We'll see you next time. But in the meantime, you can watch that video right there.